Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at Everything You Need to Know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, there may be signs both the EU and Japan are rethinking their dairy trade protectionism. But first, in Washington, the latest set of Federal Reserve minutes have been released and it is clear from them they have concrete plans to start shrinking the central bank's large portfolio of bonds and other assets in the next few months. They may not be united on exactly when that will start, however, nor are they united on how to read the inflation signals. But the issues are timing, not direction. Also released overnight were some very strong international trade data. Global air freight, measured in freight ton kilometres, grew 12.7% in May compared with the same month a year ago. This was up from 8.7% annual growth recorded in April and is more than three times the five-year average of a growth rate of 3.8%. Freight capacity, as measured in available tonne kilometres, grew by 5.2% in the year to May. Air freight prices may be coming under upward pressure as trade grows faster than capacity available. In Brussels, where the Japanese Prime Minister is visiting, tweets from negotiators and a report from one news agency says there will be a major free trade deal between Japan and the EU. It is comprehensive and will include dairy products, a traditional sticking point for both. Japan's dairy industry is protected by 40% tariffs. The EU is famously sensitive about that sector. Breaking this barrier may portend wider access in other negotiations. A new report out overnight concludes that insider trading in England is still a serious problem. Suspicious share trading preceded 19% of all UK takeover announcements in 2016. After a crackdown on insider trading about 10 years ago, there was a big drop in unusual market activity two days before takeover announcements, from around 30% to 15% between 2009 and 2014, but it crept up again last year. In Australia, their tax office is being buffeted with reputation damage. Earlier it was the arrest of a very senior manager for covering up major tax fraud by his family, and yesterday its computer systems went down again, this time for five hours. They have a whole range of credibility issues. Trading has resumed in New York today and the US Treasury 10 yield has slipped to 2.33% after the Fed minutes release. The price of oil is lower by more than $1.50 today to just under $45.50 a barrel while the Brent benchmark is now just over $48. And the price of gold is lower again, falling to just on $1,220 an ounce. The Kiwi dollar is slightly softer too, at 72.7 US cents. On the cross rates were softish as well, at 95.8 Aussie cents and 64.2 Euro cents. The TWI is now at 76.9. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.